Technical advances helping to improve early Alzheimer's detection. In the next half hour, we talk to a medical expert about a new brain scan, which can detect the difference between Alzheimer's and other diseases, including Parkinson's, and helping to improve life for patients and families. Early Alzheimer's detection is critical to a patient's life and treatment. Oftentimes, physicians struggle to differentiate diagnoses between Parkinson's, dementia, and Alzheimer's. A new brain scan can detect the difference. Mount Sinai's chief of nuclear detection, Dr. Munir Ghassani, joins us now to explain this scan. Thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for the invitation. Absolutely. So let's get started. First and foremost, what is different about the brain for each one of these diseases? So first of all, if you look at the most common condition in the dementia is the Alzheimer's disease. Uh, the, that In that condition, the patients are slowly losing their memory and their fun other functions, and slowly it becomes difficult for them to even have more simple tasks such that they are fairly limited in their capacity, and eventually most patients die after several years of progression of Alzheimer's disease. How early can these diseases be detected? So clinically, the neurologist can, uh, based on some of the uh, symptoms, can start to suspect it. But oftentimes, if you add nuclear medicine scans, then they are more effective, more accurate than uh, just a clinical suspicion uh, alone. And then there are instances where clinically they are not suspecting a uh, very significant uh, likelihood of Alzheimer's disease, but the scans actually show that, and it makes a big difference in the uh, understanding of the disease as well as in the management of those patients, especially since now there are new treatments that are becoming available for Alzheimer's disease. You've described some of the symptoms, but do symptoms need to be present? Yes, the symptoms need to be present, yeah. So you absolutely have we to We don't have... want to do the scans in patients who, you know, who may have family history, but they are completely functional. In that case, it's not useful to do the scan. So symptoms need to be present, yes. Before these scans, how early was detection possible? Before the scans, uh, oftentimes by the time the detection occurred, it was quite advanced stage of disease, and uh, it didn't really matter much during those times because there were not many effective treatments available. But now FDA, within the last few years, have approved uh, several uh, new medications that in fact remove the plaques from the brain and slow down the progress of the disease. So now it is more critical than ever uh, to pick up those uh, findings on the scan so you can start the appropriate treatment. What early steps can be taken when there is a detection? So when there is a detection and if, if the patients are suitable for one of these newly approved agents that, uh, that remove the plaques, these are quite effective and uh, they slow down the progress. Unfortunately, Yet there is no cure for the Alzheimer's disease, but if you can provide uh, the patients some quality of life for a few additional years and have uh, you know their good family time and more functional status, those all are very effective uh, measures that you can take to improve the quality of life of these patients. What can delay the effects? I'm sorry, what was the question? What can delay the effects? What can slow it all down? Uh, so these agents that use the uh, the method to remove the plaques from the brain, that in fact does slow down the uh, the progress. And at what point does you know, in terms of the symptoms, does dementia or Alzheimer's start to look different? So there are some commonalities. Uh, for example, you were referring earlier between the Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. In the Parkinson's disease, the patients have. Uh, more uh, stiffness, they have uh, uncontrolled movements. So for example, what you're seeing on the scan and where the arrows are pointing out are the areas of the brain where the signal is lower. And that implies that dopamine, which is a very important uh, substance for the brain function is decreased in those areas. And that's where the patients start to feel stiffness. They have imbalance. They can't control their body balance properly. And they have uh, uncontrolled movements of the body. 
And when that advances further, they also start to have some dementia symptoms. And if you use the nuclear medicine scans, for example, the one that you're showing is very, very specific when uh, those signals are slowing down and you don't see any signal in that area, that favors the possibility that this may be Parkinson's disease. Mount Sinai's chief of nuclear detection, Dr. Munir Ghassani, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for the invitation.